Right now, if you want to have an internet presence, you'll need to be able to edit vertical videos. This can either be for TikTok, YouTube Shorts, or even Instagram Reels. It's a key skill to have, and this how-to video is incredibly beginner-friendly. So let's get started. Okay, so first, you'll need to press New Project. Alright, so here, project name. Name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it Project 1. And then here, you're gonna choose a location of where you want your project to be. So in my case, I'm just gonna put it here on this folder. And then I'm gonna press Create. First thing you'll need to do is create a sequence. So press New Item, Sequence. Now, select RE 1080p and RE 1080p 30. Then go to Settings. Change this one to DSLR to 60 frames per second. And this is where the vertical comes into play. So we want 1080 by 1920. So we invert the numbers that are originally in. And that's it. It's that simple. You can also save your presets so you never have to do that again. So you press Save. Name it whatever you want. So like a Project or a Vertical Videos. Vertical. Sorry about the typos. Video. Okay. So this will load now. It's going to show here all your custom ones. I have several ones. So vertical videos. Okay. Now you have your sequence created. Step two will be to import all your video files, all the files you want to edit. Everything's going to happen in this little box right here. Right click it, import. Select the files you want. I'm going to select this one file. There we have it. You can also create bins like their little folders and to organize your workspace. Drag it onto here, it's in this little folder. To put the file in our editing page, we're gonna drag it onto here. This pop-up's gonna show because this is not a vertical video, so just put keep existing settings. There we go. It's gonna show in the video preview, the video. You see how there's black here and here, we do not like that. What we're gonna do is unlink the video file from the audio file. Select it, right click, unlink right here. Now we have two separate files. In my case, the audio file doesn't matter, so I'm just going to delete it, but you can keep it. That's a personal choice. Select the, the video track, press Alt on your keyboard, keep pressing it and drag it onto another track. It has to be a video track. These are video tracks and these are audio tracks. Now we have two tracks that are exactly the same. You're going to select the first one, select it in the preview, double click on it. Now it's selected, you're going to drag on this to the size that you want. I like it like this. Now select the second track. Go to the effects control tab right here, scale. You're gonna drag this number to fill the whole blackness in the preview, like that. Now, obviously this isn't pretty to look at. So we wanna blur the top and the bottom. We go to the effects tab right here, right, Gaussian blur. So right here, this one. You're gonna drag it onto the second track, the one that's filling the whole screen create the blurriness effect I just said. The blurriness is right here. This is the number you're going to drag to increase the blurriness. Choose the one you want. I like it on 80s. And there we have it. Now we have that cool effect that we see a lot in gaming videos. We're going to like, these are not together. You can move them separately. I want them to move equally. So I'm going to select both of them, right click and press link. So they move together. And when you select it, they're always together. Okay. Now cutting your track is incredibly important so there's several ways you can do this imagine you want to crop it right here you drag the cursor to where you want to crop it and then you're going to select the track so it's this track select it control k there we go now it's cropped in the middle where you exactly where you want it now imagine there's other ways you can do this you can if imagine you don't want this whole beginning of the video you can just press q it's going to drag it into the beginning and crop it exactly where you want it. I don't want the rest of this track to the end. I'm going to press W. It's going to connect the two tracks and crop it just the end of it. See, you can also play the video by pressing L. It's going to play it. K is going to stop it and J is going to go backwards. You can also double click it. So double click L. It's going to go double speed. K to stop it. Double press J. It's going to go double speed backwards. And those are some tools that's going to help you edit the video faster. Obviously, it's going to take a little bit of muscle memory, but once you get the hang of it, it's really, really handy. By the way, keep in mind, if you press Q, it's going to cut all the tracks, not just the one you have selected, all the ones in all the, the files. So if you had this one here on top, it's going to crop both of them. Q crops both. It crops all the tracks, while Control K just crops the one you have selected. See? 
it's not gonna affect the other one in the other track okay so imagine uh, you also want to add a face cam in the middle what you're gonna do is go back to project here right click import import the face cam you want uh, i'm gonna go and import face cam you want the face cam to be on top of the gameplay right you're gonna put the face cam on top it has to be on the top track now i record with a green screen to make my life a bit easier but if you have like a fully black screen that's fine just go to effects here right ultra key this filter drag it onto the file to the track right there this is gonna pop up key color this is the color that you want to become invisible to show the background video select it i'm gonna select the green see it's gone and now you can see the video behind it also like you can double click it and it adjust it to your liking i'm gonna put it more centered a bit bigger so now when you play it you have the face cam in this video we will and tell the you video how to playing solve in the, the back tower puzzle in hogwarts legacy yeah so this is pretty much how to remove a green screen or any kind of screen to show the background video another thing that comes really handy imagine you have more so i had two webcam files this one doesn't have the effect right you can just right click on the one that has the effect press copy select the one you put the you want to put the effect in right click paste attributes make sure motion and ultra key are selected which is the changes you just applied okay now it's exactly like this one now imagine you want to create a zoom in transition i use it a lot in my videos right so i want to I'm gonna crop it here. Okay, so I want to do a zoom in transition between these two clips from here to here. First, you'll need to go here, press new item adjustment layer. Make sure it's 1080 by 1920, 68 frames, square pixels, one. Okay, now drag this on to on top of the, the clips. You're gonna go to effects, right, transform. You're gonna drag this to the adjustment layer. Make sure the crosshair is in the exactly in the middle of the clips. I'm gonna transition from, the, from this clip to this clip. Now you're gonna go here on the transform. You're gonna uncheck this, right? You're gonna change the shutter angle to the max you can go, which is 360. 360. There we go. You're gonna press create keyframe on the scale right here, this one. You're gonna change this number to 300. You're gonna go back three frames one two three just use the arrow on your keyboard you're gonna press create keyframe again right here you're gonna change this to 100 press enter now you're gonna want to press here go to the next keyframe now on your arrows again go one forwards you're gonna press create keyframe again now go forwards five frames one two three four five and press create keyframe again here and you're also going to change this number to 100. So now when you play this back, you're going to see it. See, it does that cool zooming effect. It's a cool transition to add to your shorts and it's very easy to make. Now, obviously doing this every time is a hassle, but you can just go here, right click, save preset and name it whatever you want. Name it transition zoom in now make sure scale is selected and press ok now every time you just want to use this transition all you have to do okay imagine let's do it here i'm gonna do a zoom in from here i'm gonna delete this right from here to here you go to your project new adjustment layer make sure the settings are like this okay drag this on here on effects, look for your transition zoom in that we just created. Drag it onto the adjustment layer. Now, zoom in here. Make sure it's in the middle. Uh, you're going to have to zoom in here so you can see the keyframes. Make sure it's in exactly there. Select them all. You're going to drag this one right there. It's that simple. Now, when you play it, it's gonna do the zoom in effect. See? Exactly how we wanna. Now, something that I use a lot in my videos too is subtitles, right? There's a very easy way you can create subtitles. Make sure none of the tracks are selected. Press sequence. Transcribe sequence. 
here you're gonna select the settings here the audio i want to only translate the tracks on audio one which is my voice this might be different for you if it is just press mix it's gonna select all of them or select the ones you want which in my case it's audio one press transcribe it's gonna take a minute you're gonna wait this is a translation of your voice just press cc right here create captions subtitle default preferences my settings for my videos i put this on 25 the minimum duration in seconds to two and single gaps between frames zero single create captions see now when i play it in this video you see we will tell you how to solve the bell tower puzzle now obviously these aren't the prettiest looking subtitles so what you want to do is select all the subtitles and this is going to show up here essential graphics if it doesn't if this doesn't show for you just go to window and select essential graphics we want to change it i use obelix as my font if you don't have it you can download it i'll leave a link in the description for this font if you want it the size i like it around 70. the stroke i select and i put it to black okay the shadow I like to drag this value here a little bit so it gives that shadow effect. I think it looks really good like this. So when you play it. In this video, we will tell you how to solve the bell tower puzzle in Hogwarts Legacy. Obviously, there's going to be errors in this. Just double click it and correct it. So this is not what you wanted it to say. Just write whatever it was. And yeah, that's how you create subtitles. And that's it. Now your video is all edited. We'll show you how to export it. Just press export here file name name it whatever you want so a uh, project location selected press the folder you want to save it on save here make sure it says match source adaptive high bit rate format h264 video should match the source but if it's not press match source make sure it's 1080 by 1920 the frame rate make sure this is all good also make sure that the video audio captions effect metadata is all selected because if you do like this it's not gonna export the video make sure it's selected then here make sure work area is selected and you can go ahead and press export and that's it now the video will be rendered in the folder you picked thank you so much for watching and if you like the video don't forget to subscribe